So people don't know that they, they, bro, the things you can negotiate with a casino to help you win are ungodly. Okay, I don't, I didn't even know you could do any of this. Ex so that's exactly right, right? So you show up, you got money on the books, right? You got money in your account or whatever it is, you're buying credit line, whatever. You don't know how many things you can negotiate to help you. You don't know that. And they're not going to tell you that because they know it's not in their favor, the casino. Okay. So, so for example, Dana White and Drake, they know these things. So they have the negotiation set in their best favor. There was a time where they didn't, they didn't know that, I'm sure. Just like when I sat down with little Baby that first time, he didn't know that he can do some of these things. So he's capped at 20K a hand. And I'm like, bro, you got, uh, you know what? I don't, don't quote me on this, but I was like, bro, you, you got a million on the books. You can bet 75K and you're stuck at 20. You can lose. Per a, one hand. Yeah, per one hand. Yeah. I'm like, you can lose all your money 20K at a hand, but you can't win all the money 20K at a hand, but you can win a lot of money 75K at a so, hand. So, okay. Help me understand this, because yeah. I get it. Obviously, I understand you have a bigger bankroll. You could play longer. You mean like... Well, I actually like to play shorter. Okay, I like so to play bigger, This shorter. is what I don't get, though. I yeah. don't understand how... If, if Okay, if I'm betting now 75000 a hand, mm -hmm. I'm just, I can just lose 75000 a hand, though. Sure. So how of is course. there a benefit? Well, then you have still have another million dollars. You still have, of course. You know, $925,000 to win seventy five k back, right? Which is one benefit. The next is... Let's say you pick a number that you want to win, but which is the right way to gamble. You shouldn't just go in there like, I'm just going to have a good time. I'm just going to gamble, whatever. How, when I feel like I'm done, I'm done. That's how people lose everything. Yeah. So if you're taking it serious and your goal is to win, you need to have a, a, a stop loss and a stop win, right? You have to pick when I'm losing, when do I stop for the moment? When do I stop for the session? And when I'm winning, when do I call it a dub? When do I go home? Yeah. So you go in there. Let's say your number is 150,000. You want to make 150K today. You're allowed to bet 75K a hand. All you got to do is win two hands. You could be in that. You could be in that casino for thirty seconds, make yeah. one hundred and fifty thousand, and leave. If your number is one hundred and fifty k, and you're only allowed to bet twenty k a hand, that's how the casino's edge picks up. I okay, I kind of understand that now. It's making more sense. The longer you play, the bigger the house edge becomes. Because in every circumstance. In every circumstance, especially because now you're fighting. In the beginning, it's like luck. It's like 50-50. Like a back round hand's like 50-50, basically, right? All you gotta do is win two hands. Like fifty. Basically, you're looking at fifty-fifty. You win the two hands, you made one hundred fifty k. Go home. If you have to actually keep playing and playing and playing, their edge will catch on. The luck, if, let's say it is luck, the luck runs out. So, God, because that's that's got that's the hardest thing when I think about gaming. I'm like, it, the chances of like I I always play because I play smaller and I could play bigger. Yeah. And then I don't because I'm just like, well, if I play bigger, I could just lose more money faster. But you could but, also win. Yeah, and that's how that's what Steve does. Now that yeah. I notice it, that's yeah. what he does. Yeah. So. So there's an advantage to playing the bigger hands. Obviously, if you have a bigger bankroll, but more importantly, it sounds like for people who gamble, and this is where it gets really tricky and why people lose so much money is they don't have those limits. Yeah. They yeah. don't go, yo, if I, if I lose this much, I have to leave no matter what. Not only do not, most people not do that, they also don't bring a, a, a partner that's going to hold you accountable to that. So I had a rule in every casino in Vegas, and this is not like for sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in Vegas history that had this rule. There was one guy, I'm not going to say his name, who always sat with me at every table. He was allowed to spend my money as if it was mine. He can place a bet for me. He can pull for my markers. He can pay my commissions. He can take the chips off the table and put it in his pocket. And that's what he did. So we, you have to set that up prior with the casinos. Yeah, yeah, hey, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And all the casinos agreed to let me do that with him, right? So what I would do is I would tell me and him would discuss it. What is the stop loss? What is the stop win? So he would know my number. So he's counting my chips while I'm focused on the game. Cause imagine every hand I play, I have to like recount the chips and do more like these, this math here is a distraction to add a layer of math. That really is like irrelevant to what I'm trying to do, which is win. Yeah. All does take me further away from what I'm trying to do. Okay. So let's talk about that concept. The yeah. Winning, right? Cause you're, you're focused on the cards that are at play, the cards that you're assuming. Cause Obviously, counting cards is illegal. It's right? not illegal. It's not illegal. It's not a crime. It's, it's not frowned, a crime. It's frowned upon. It's a, against casino policy. It is not a crime. Okay. So how how does counting cards even work? You're just you're 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 rationalizing what's left over based on what's been pulled. Yeah, b basically that's correct. And there's two versions of card counting. There's a true count and a running count. And it's a, it's a small system. It works. It does work. Usually you get caught. What they the casino hires card counters. Like people that work in surveillance are trained. When they want to work in surveillance, they're trained to learn how to count cards, to try to catch card counters. So it's hard to disguise it, but they have a pretty good rational understanding of what's likely to be left in the deck or right at the top of the deck. Based on what's already been pulled out. Exactly right. Yeah. 
So how do you, how does, how do, how would I learn how to like count better? I mean, you can literally go on YouTube. There's like, you can go on YouTube and put in card counting tutorial and I could promise you like they're accurate. Damn. It's that easy. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, so, so, God damn. I just, dude, I hate how much I love gambling. Every time I talk about like, I want to go right now and it's a yeah. bad thing. So how does one, based on what I'm saying right now, how do you, if you, you have a buddy, he's like helping you. Mm -hmm. Let's say someone doesn't have a buddy. Have you ever had moments where you, you went further than you were supposed to go? Bro, of <laughs> course, bro. You know how many times I've lost rent money? Bro. That's like, that's like my biggest fear is like, it, cause it, cause I work so hard for the money I make. Then like I love gambling, it's so fun, and I love the thrill and like the idea that you could like stack it like double, triple. Yeah. But then it's like, what if you just you get like how much have you lost? Well, okay. at one and okay. one at one time, the and biggest then, loss I ever had at one time was eight million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what was that on though? Baccarat. Like in, in one night? Yeah, Baccarat. So, but how do how do you lose if you're so good at it? Because they cheat. So. There's so many layers to but this. But $8 million cheat is crazy. Do you know how hard it is to lose $8 million? It sounds tremendously difficult. You probably couldn't lose $8 million playing Baccarat if you tried. So how did you do it? They set me up. They set me up for failure, absolutely. How did how? Okay. All right, so like the roughly the first, um, like, I want to say like $3 million I lost, I was distraught. I was pissed. I was like, I'm mad that I'm losing, right? Then I lost like another, I don't know what, like another 3 million, just confused, right? Like I enter like the twilight zone, right? I'm like, I don't understand. How do I lose 100% of the hands? No matter what I do, it doesn't work. This can't be correct. At this point, I'm down, I think, 7 million, like roughly, right? Bro, that is... No, I'm down 6, I'm down six million. And I play, I play a little bit oh, more. That would make me want to throw up. <laughs> and I play a little bit more. And this time I knew that I was being cheated. And I go, you know what? I'm going to spend the last million, couple million, whatever it is, trying to figure out, I know I'm going to lose it, but I'm going to try to figure out what it is they're doing. And I sat there and I lost another million or two million or something like that, just trying to understand what is happening that I'm not privy to to make me lose this many hands in a row, which is just ungodly. It's not possible. And I figured it out. I bought it for one million more and then I won nine million in 45 minutes. Oh my, okay. That doesn't make any sense, dude. There's no way that really happened. That's yeah, a true ass I have, story. I have videos and photos of it. Bro. I post that stuff all the time. So you went, how, so. You, if you, you don't follow me on it. I don't know if you follow me or not, bro. You follow, I post <clears> the videos of this all the time. You there went, was witnesses to my $9 million win that watched me lose the $8 million first. I have photos, videos. You I got lost I $8 million dollars yeah. and it came up $9 million. Yeah. Yeah. That's that not my is, biggest win. That's, that's absurd. That's though. not even close to my biggest win. What's your biggest win? My biggest single session win is $11,526,000. On what game? Baccarat. So Baccarat's your game. Yeah, well, because they let me bet $250,000 a hand there. Who the f*** is letting you bet that? What casino is doing that? Every they casino. They I've never even seen that. I've never seen it. Anywhere. I've seen people bet 70. I've seen 30 is like most average yeah. I see. I've if, never. You have to go to uh, one of the flagship casinos on the Strip. All of them. Bellagio, MGM. Aria, Venetian, MGM Grand, Palazzo, uh, Cosmo, uh, Caesars. Actually, they, they actually all let me bet 300000 a hand. But the politics and the negotiation, what I have to do to qualify for the 300000 a hand is an extra $2 million in exposure that I didn't need. So for I could save the $2 million in exposure and get capped at a quarter million a hand exposure? instead. So I, I would have to give them an extra $2 million. Mm. Up front to start this. Yeah. To get three hundred k a hand. But for $2 million less, I get 250000 a hand. So to save the risk of $2 million, I'm only at a loss of $50,000. So I would take a quarter million dollars a hand. Oh my God. And for blackjack on the same negotiation for blackjack, I get 75,000 a hand in a six deck shoe for one hand. I get, I think it was something like 40,000 for two or 25,000 for three hands on double deck. I could play 50,000 a hand, 25 at two. I think, I think it was like 20 for three hands, 